This is something that I said I would never do. And I'm pretty much eating my words. And I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> Hello, everybody. So I am so excited because the sun just came out. It was raining earlier today and I was hoping that it would let up because um, if you guys can tell from this view, I'm not home. I'm um, at the Virgin Hotel in Dallas because of an event that's happening tonight. And y'all know how I feel about hotels. I don't love them, but <laughs> if I have to stay in one, Virgin is like one of my favorites. Yeah, so it's an event tonight for Like To Know It. You know how when you go on Instagram and they have like shop my outfits go on my like to know it page you can get the links and stuff so that's the company that's throwing the event i've never been to a like to know it event so i am anxious to see how it is i mean y'all if you haven't noticed i don't go to many influencer events period but um i was like you know what this is my first time being invited to something like this. Let me just check it out and see how it is. So getting ready for that. Now I just did my, well, most of my makeup. Thinking of doing a red lip tonight. Not sure yet, but we'll see. I have my hair, well, can you see? I have my hair in a puff because I didn't feel like doing too much. I didn't feel like thinking about how to style my hair. So I'm doing a puff and I actually, where is it? I have a... <laughs> a fake puff because I don't have any type of definition going on with my actual hair. So I might throw this on. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how it all pans out. But I have about an hour until the event. And the good thing about where I'm staying right now is that the event is only, I believe it's less than a mile away from the hotel. So should be quick to get there. And like I said, I'm glad that the rain let up. So I'm not out and about in the, you know, rain and everything like that. That would be a little bit of a bummer. But right now I'm waiting on my food to arrive. I ordered some Uber Eats because I'm starving. And um, I ordered some vegan food. That is coming shortly. Of course I have have my plastic wrap and y'all every time I mention this <laughs> the fact that I bring plastic to wrap the beds when I stay in hotels every time I mention it people suggest like what about just using those disposable sheets what about um, using this or that I don't think y'all understand I need a barrier between myself and the bed I don't want to touch the bed okay y'all know what people do in hotels so yeah, I need a barrier. And those disposable sheets, they feel like sandpaper. So no and no, not for me. For other people, they might work, but they don't work for me. I have to use actual sheets that I bring and I have to first <laughs> wrap the bed. It's a must. That's just, uh, it's a thing. I have to do it. But anyway, let me give y'all a little tour real quick. I believe this is the, what is this? The Grand King Chamber. They have different types of rooms in um, this hotel, just like many other hotels. I believe this time I got the Grand King Chamber and I like the space of it all. I like how spacious it is. Let me show y'all. So this is the view from the window. We have our lounge area here. Got some wall art, got the TV over there. Um, over here we have the dining area table have how cute is this smeg fridge and then you know like the bar area right here got some drinks bada bing bada boom in case i want to get hype <laughs> but yeah so the decor in the virgin hotels is really really nice which is why i love it so once you sweep over here the bedroom love the pops of red and um just the white bedding Looks really, really clean. I love that they have hardwood floors. <laughs> Ugh, behind here, whoa. <laughs> behind here is the dressing area, which I love that it has like a dedicated getting ready spot and it has the lights that you need to, you know, do your makeup, do your primping and stuff like that. And then through here, whoop, through here is the bathroom. Again, love this decor, love the gold hardware. Soaking tub here, really nice. I don't use hotel tubs, but you know, they have it. And then in 
this door. Over here is the shower room. And the shower is absolutely massive. Through here is the toilet room. We won't show too much of that because who wants to see that, but that's the toilet room. And then through here is the entrance. So you guys can see, it's kind of like, it kind of does like a big circle. This is my view. Actually, I'm looking closely, it's still drizzling. It's still drizzling, but hopefully the rain stops. But if not, we'll just have to make do. Food just arrived. All right, let's open it up. And hopefully it's good. <laughs> I got quite a bit of stuff because um, I'm not sure what I'm gonna eat tonight. So I was like, let me just order a good amount of food just in case I'm you know, looking for food later on. I can already have some here. So I got some kale. This is like a um, kind of like a vegan soul food type of place. And I've eaten here before and the stuff is pretty good. Mashed potatoes, got some mac and cheese. Ooh, this has garlic bread. Yo, I got these um, cauliflower wings. I'll open this all up so you can actually see it. Parmesan fries. I think this is the sauce that goes on the fries. And then got some corn. And I also got a pomegranate. <laughs> I got a pomegranate limeade. All right, so this is all the food I got, guys. I kind of feel a little bit obnoxious and a little bit greedy getting all this food. But y'all, look at this garlic bread. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> I'm excited. I haven't really eaten a proper meal today and it is 4.30. 4.30, haven't really eaten. <laughs> y'all, I'm way too hyped for this. All right, let's try the vegan mac and cheese. It's decent. It's not better than my homemade mac and cheese, but it's decent. I've never had that kale before, I don't think. Let me try this. Vegan food house. Yeah? Somebody had came by for something. Anyway, y'all, like I said, I had this, I've eaten at this restaurant before. From what I recall, the food was really good. This, I don't know, it ain't hitting it there. But these greens, somebody mama need to be slapped for these. They are not good. These mashed potatoes, they taste funny. Tastes kind of weird. Let me taste these corn. Okay, so corn, the corn is decent. Let's try the cauliflower, it's crispy. Cauliflower's pretty good. Let me dip it in this sauce here. Ooh. Corn, cauliflower, fries, pomegranate lame, thumbs up. But the mac and cheese, the kale, mashed potatoes, I wouldn't order it again. But I'm gonna go ahead, eat a little bit more. Then I have to hurry up and get ready because I only have like 30 minutes <laughs> until it's time for me to leave. So I'll hit y'all back in a bit. All right, y'all, so I decided to just stick with my <laughs> real hair. I didn't feel like fooling with the faux puff. So really simple today. I threw on a dark lip. I wanted to do red, but the red was coming out patchy for some reason so i just went with this dark lip this is mm, fenty unveil and let me put y'all down so you can see my look of the evening all right peeps so this is my outfit of the evening pretty simple this jacket is from all saints i just showed it in my recent video in a haul this top is from forever 21 the bottoms are from zara fendi bag these sandals i can't remember but they were really inexpensive i want to say they were like 30 bucks from a department store somewhere anyway but that's what i'm wearing y'all have to go ahead and get out of here i gotta get an uber it's 5 21 the event starts at 5 30 and i'm trying to be on time so let's go And this is good lighting too. I'm telling you, there's no bad lighting in this room. See, I love your outfit. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, this is the first annual creator. All right, y'all. It is. Let's see. Seven fifty. Probably can't see that. <laughs> Seven fifty. And I just got back in. I grabbed a drink to go. Um, just got back in. I. Had a really nice time at the event. It was really nice. It was very informative. Met a couple 
cool people, got a lot of information. So all in all, it was a success. I'm glad I came. The event was still going on, but I left because after the informational section, I was standing in line. They were doing like customized sweatshirts, but I was like, eh, do I really even want a sweatshirt? So I just came back here because, you know, I got what I needed to get. I do have the rest of my food, so I'm gonna eat that in a little bit because I got <laughs> hungry again. But I'm thinking I might just go downstairs to the bar, get a drink, chill out for a second, maybe get, no, I'm not gonna, no. I'll just eat the food I have here. And um, then, you know, come back, eat, shower, then go to sleep because I have a pretty long day tomorrow. So I'm not gonna stay up too late, but that's what I'm gonna do. I'll hit y'all back. Maybe tonight, maybe tomorrow, I don't know. <laughs> Quite a few days later <laughs> um and y'all today is such an amazing day i have so many updates to uh share with you guys ah! it's just like everything is coming together so amazingly and i just couldn't be happier and today it's like sunny and nice and it's gonna be really good weather yeah i just feel in very high spirits today can you guys see the first update i got some counter stools ah! If you've seen my last vlog, you know the issues I've had with trying to get counter stools. And I actually ordered, so I showed one set on camera, but I didn't show you guys two other different counter stools that I ordered. I ordered some from TJ Maxx online. I actually just found out recently that like they have an online store where you can buy stuff. So I bought some counter stools from TJ Maxx. Those didn't work out. Then I bought some counter stools from Wayfair. Those didn't work out either. Sent them both back. And then I came across these counter stools that I got now. Okay, so these are the counter stools. Look at them, y'all. O-M-G. I am absolutely thrilled with these counter stools. So I wanted stools with some texture and I really love the look of these. I love the hue because I was looking for stools that had a warm tone. Really high quality. It seems like so far I like the white cushions. I just like the overall look of them and especially because as I was telling you guys, I'm going for a coastal vibe in here and I think they go so, 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 so well. I'm just extremely happy with these stools and i didn't mess up this time and get bar stool height i actually got counter stool height so these are very sturdy very stable i love the footrests they're very comfortable to sit in and i like that these cushions they are pretty firm so it doesn't seem like they're gonna be sunken in or get misshapen easily but the thing that i like about these as well is they have a zip so you can unzip this take the actual cover off throw it in the washing machine clean it and it'll be good as new. And I'm even more thrilled about the fact that since these are from Target, they were so much less expensive than any of the other stools that I was looking at. Any of the other stools that I had bought <laughs> and had to return. I feel like they just fit this space so good. So I'll link these stools below, you guys. I'm really in love with them. Also, you guys, we just got our dining table and our dining chairs delivered. And I am just so ecstatic about it. You don't even understand. Like when we first moved in, I really didn't picture us using the dining room, like the formal dining room like that, because usually we just eat at the counter or at the um, table in the kitchen, especially since the dining room, this isn't like open concept. The dining room is like its own space. So it's not connected to the kitchen. You're kind of ducked off a little bit. And I didn't think that we would use the dining room that much, but y'all, now that we have this table and chairs, I just want to be in the dining room all the time. <laughs> I love it so much. We also got the artwork, so that's exciting too. It's just so many things are all starting to come together because y'all know, as I was telling y'all about back orders and availability on certain furniture items was just absolutely crazy. It was months out. And I had been searching, searching, searching for the perfect dining table online. I couldn't find it. I went to a couple furniture stores, couldn't find anything that I liked and I actually lucked up and I went to um, the RH outlet and I found the absolute 
perfect dining table for like a third of the original price and it just goes so well in the dining room. I'm gonna give you a sneak peek. I'm not gonna show everything because I wanna wait for the grand reveal so you can see how big of a transformation the dining room has gone under, gone under, I don't know. <laughs> but it's so different from the bare bones, just white box room that it used to be. It's so different. So I'm gonna show you just a little taste of it. But before I do that, I do wanna quickly let you guys know, for those of you that don't know, that I do have my own jewelry line. It is named Second and C. I've had it, I launched it back in 2020. But then at the end of, I believe it was, yeah, 2022, I um, took the site up because I was going through a lot, like the move and everything like that. And I never really made any public announcements that it was back up. People have just been going on there periodically and seeing that it was up and shopping or people would comment on my videos, when is your site gonna be up? And I let them know that it is. So I just wanna come here and officially let you guys know that my jewelry site is relaunched. If you are interested in any of the jewelry that you see me wear most of the time, I'm wearing my own stuff. Like, all my bracelets, and these are bracelets that I wear every single day, pretty much don't take these off. I wear them all the time. I've been wearing the same set for well over a year, y'all. Like the quality is amazing. My necklaces are from my line, and then my key hoop earrings, these are like my best sellers, and these are my favorite piece from my jewelry line. I wear these all the time as well. And all my stuff, you can mix it and match it. It goes so well with anything and everything. You can stack it, you can go simple, just wear one piece. It's very, very interchangeable, which is what my goal was, just to have like a capsule jewelry collection where everything goes. So if you guys are interested in that, I will leave the link below where you can shop. Okay, y'all, so these are the dining chairs. Let me pull it out. These are the dining chairs. I love how sleek they look. I love just like the black. And I love the texture, the shape. Everything is super ultra modern about them. They just look so, so sophisticated to me. So that's what they look like. And then the dining table is here. It's very, it's kind of like industrial, really dark. It's bold, but it's minimal at the same time. And I love the legs on it, like how the legs go like this. And we have the artwork up too. So that's why I'm like shooting at this low angle so you can't really see it yet. I'm gonna try to wrap this room up ASAP so I can do the reveal. And the only things we really have left to do in here are, I have to get window coverings, so I have to get some uh, drapes. Have to get the lighting fixture changed, and I'm also adding sconces on each side of the artwork. That's basically it. A few decor items, I think I'm gonna put some decor items in that little bowl right here on top of the table. And that's it, that's all I have to do in this room. I am planning on getting an electrician out next week so that he can change out all of the light fixtures that we need changed. So I need to get on that. I'm gonna try to find the perfect light fixture and sconces today so I can order them have them here ready for them yeah it's almost at the finish line I can't wait to show you guys you're gonna love it it just looks so so good y'all like it looks so good <laughs> look at Kenzo he loves these chairs y'all I don't know who he thinks he is sitting at the dining table but sir uh-uh you gonna have to raise up you do not belong at the daggone dining table hello he is so stubborn, y'all. <laughs> and he needs a haircut. So we're gonna get you squared away very soon. Look at that scruff. But yeah, come on. You don't belong here. Let me get you down. <sighs> Jeez. So I need to get kind of serious for a second, y'all. <laughs> because this is something that I said I would never do and I'm pretty much eating my words. And I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> so basically what this is, and I know I'm like dramatizing it, but I literally said for years, I would never, never do this. And what do you know? Now, what am I talking about? This may seem trivial to some of you, but I had really strong convictions about this for such a long time that I'm kind of in disbelief that I'm even here right now. But I ordered clothes <laughs> from Fashion Nova. Ah! I told myself I would never shop there. I would never buy their clothes. 
something about Fashion Nova just always rubbed me the wrong way. I felt like their clothes were cheap. I didn't like the name of the company, Fashion Nova. It just sounds extremely generic. I just, everything about them, I did not want anything to do with them. And the crazy part is, is they hit me up so many times throughout the years asking if I would promote their clothes. And every time I was like, absolutely not. I was staunchly against Fashion Nova, okay? So what prompted me to wanna shop on that site? Well, if any of you guys are following fashion trends and things of that nature, you know that those really big oversized cargo pants are in right now. And some of them are like over a thousand dollars. They're like crazily priced. So I wanted to try out the trend, but I didn't wanna spend all this money just in case I didn't like it, just in case it didn't look right on me. And the only pants that I could find similar to like the high-end ones that I liked. I could only find them at Fashion Nova, y'all. So I was like, okay, let me just buy these pants and see if they work for me, if they work for my body type and my style. If they don't, I'm not out of a bunch of money. I don't know, I still feel a way about this, like, dang. But anyway, y'all, so the first pair I got are these right here. I loved the wash on this. They say that they're green, like the color, they're listed as green, but they're more of, like they have a very subtle green tint to them. But um, I liked the old, the aged look of them. They have some variations in the tone. For instance, some areas are lighter, some areas are darker, and I liked that. And I also like the way that they fit on the model on the site. I also wanted to get a pair of lighter colored cargo pants. These I got because they looked very interesting, especially with the straps coming over here and it looks very utilitarian. I like that about it. Got some zips at the bottom. They just have a lot of details on them that make them look pretty cool, pretty unique. So I figured I could pair these a bunch of different ways, especially since they're a great neutral and I have a lot of neutral colors, a lot of creams, whites, blacks, browns in my wardrobe. And then the last pair of pants I got are these black ones just like the other two they have really big pockets they have a lot of detailing on them at the bottom on the leg it has a tie so you can cinch in the bottom of these pants and do like a balloon effect or you could cinch in the bottom and scrunch them up your legs for a slouchy look so i thought that that was good that they could be convertible and especially since they are black black pretty much goes with almost anything anyway aside from that i did get a very flowy feminine dress has an overall floral print on it I liked how girly and dainty it looked on the model. And I like that the sleeves, they're really billowy and flowy. They have a tie at the end so you can cinch them in at the wrist. So this, I just thought it was a great transitional. Why does it seem like every time I'm doing a haul, Kenzo wants to start barking crazy? <laughs> but yeah, those are the items I got from Fashion Over y'all. I'll link them below. Another thing I wanted to update you guys on, which is such an amazing turn of events, our outdoor kitchen is actually gonna be started. They're gonna start work on it next week. The doors that I was telling you all about, <laughs> <laughs> the doors came in sooner than expected and so work is about to begin and I'm just like over the moon I am so looking forward to this outdoor kitchen it's gonna be like the perfect start to the summer I feel to be able to go outside and grill and actually the day before yesterday I went with the designer to the granite and stone yard to pick out the countertop yeah so we went out there walked all through <laughs> it was so hard to pick the perfect counters but i think i got it i wanted the counters to be dark not super black but also not like a medium gray i wanted it to be like a darker gray so i picked this color called i believe it's called black leather something and it's textured it's matte i think it's going to look really nice against the light colored surround of the outdoor kitchen so we got that squared away they're starting work next week it's a lot of things that are going to be happening next week in here actually we have like three different contractors coming in here for different things. It's a lot going on right now, y'all, but that's the update on Outdoor Kitchen. It's starting very, very soon. I am amped and um, I just feel like things are just falling into place, which I'm very appreciative of. So y'all, I am sitting here. I'm actually about to go into Home Goods because I want to see if I can find some more wall art because y'all know Home Goods has the good wall art. 
well, you know, sometimes it's like digging through and trying to find a treasure, a needle in a haystack, but um, they have really big art pieces for a very reasonable price. So I want to pop into Home Goods and see if I can find some more wall art for a couple different areas of the house. But y'all, today is my self-care day. I'm feeling really good. Uh, uh, uh. And like I was telling y'all in my last vlog, I like to take one day during the week and just take the day for myself. Do whatever I want go wherever i want just uh have a grand old time and today i am very much so looking forward to the fact that i have a massage appointment in a couple hours mm, i need it i need it so so much y'all so i'm getting a massage today i'm also going to after i leave home goods i'm gonna go and take myself to lunch have a nice lunch i'm gonna try this new restaurant i like to try new restaurants and um just see new surroundings experience new things so i'm gonna take myself and have hopefully a nice lunch then go to my massage appointment and yeah that's my self-care day today but i did want to address something real quick because sometimes i get comments not all the time but every once in a while i'll get comments and people will be like well where are your kids <laughs> you always film by yourself when you're making your breakfast why are you only cooking for yourself and how are you able to do all these things and it seems like your kids are never around and it seems like you are just a single child free person and on one hand i'm like okay i can see how it may look that way but y'all this is the beauty of working for yourself the ability to create your own schedule to um, carve out time for yourself and because I do what I do I am able to have a lot of free time I can um, get what I need to get done done and then I have a lot of time to do whatever I want to and I definitely don't take that for granted I am very thankful for just the quality of life I'm able to have and to not feel so bogged down and just overworked all the time but it was definitely a journey to get here it was not easy for me in the beginning I worked literally worked so hard worked so hard to get to where i am today so that's one side of it i'm able to create my own schedule and right now it is 10 29 a.m on a weekday my son who is four he is in school my daughter who is grown <laughs> so that wouldn't really factor into my like day-to-day -day thing but my daughter is grown but she's also in school so i have a long stretch of time during the day where i can do whatever i want well you know mostly whatever i want and so i film during this time and when i'm cooking like you guys see me cook for just for myself that's real life because i don't eat until my son is at school i don't eat until i can be in total silence <laughs> because i have this thing where i just like to eat in quiet that is my time and uh, you know dinner's different but breakfast lunch I like to eat in silence listen to some jazz and just be very intentional about my meal but yeah I definitely wanted to address that because um, every once in a while people will be like why does it seem like your kids are never around <laughs> <laughs> but it's because I film during the day when they are gone but let's go ahead and pop into this home goods hopefully I luck up and find some gems I actually did find the wall art for the game room. I found a piece for the game room that goes perfectly. And then I also, on the other side, I found artwork at Target. I just have to get the lighting. Whoa, what the heck? <laughs> I just have to get the lighting um, replaced because y'all, I showed in a previous vlog that I am changing out the ceiling fan to a pendant light and it's gonna be really nice. I also got the rug for the game room. Game room is wrapping up too, so yay! It's looking like my six month deadline of furnishing the house. I gave myself six months, so I wasn't like prolonging this whole decor thing. I think that uh, I might be able to get this done within six months, so I'm very happy. But let me hit y'all back. I'm on my way to lunch and um, traffic out here is just crazy. I feel like everybody wants to be outside today because it's such a nice day. But I'll hit y'all back when I get to the restaurant.
lunch was really good. I'm glad that I checked this place out. Usually when I try new restaurants, I like to get a little bit of <laughs> like, you know, a couple different things to just see how everything is. So that's what I did, but I didn't want to eat too much because before massage, you don't want to go in there just stuffed to the brim, right? So I took a lot of it to go and I'll just have it later. Yeah, but right now I am here at my massage place. I'm a little bit early, so I'm just chilling for a few minutes. I brought my makeup wipes with me because you know, when you get a massage, you're like face down, you have your head on that little thing. And obviously I don't want to go in there with a face full of makeup. So I'm about to remove my lashes and my makeup and everything before I go in. But y'all, I'm getting a Thai massage. I don't think I mentioned that earlier. I'm getting a Thai massage. And if you like massages, but you've never tried a Thai massage, definitely try it at least one time, y'all, because it is so different from just a regular relaxation massage. They walk on your back. They get all the knots out. Like those ladies are so strong. I always leave their feeling Feeling absolutely amazing so like limber and it's just really good so they work out all the kinks all the knots like I said they walk on your back they bend your legs like they get everything so I am very much a fan of Thai massages especially when you need an intense like a real good deep down massage I'm gonna just you know ride this wave for the rest of the day and be very calm and zen like because that's how I always am after a massage so I'm gonna end the vlog here hope you all enjoyed and I will talk to you on my next video bye